welcome back to my channel. Today we are answering an extremely important question that I have been wondering for a really long time. How many gotcha tickets does it take to pull a particular purple card? So I have done a lot of investigation on this topic and have some pretty interesting things to share with you guys today. It is going to take a little bit of math, but the first thing that we should go over is some background information. So currently there are 57 characters in my Hello Kitty cafe. How do I know this and how can you verify this? You can come over to the menu here and click this button which will pop up with your collection. As you can see in this top corner here, it says my cards 56 and it's out of 57 total characters. I actually used to have the full collection and I pulled Karomi who was my last purple card very recently. but. In the last week, they have updated the game with Mukul Dreamy, who I haven't pulled yet. She is a blue card character. So you can basically see that I have pretty much every character except for Mew. Another thing that you might notice is, of course, these cards are coming in different colors. What does that mean? To answer this, we should go over to the gotcha ticket character pulling machine. If you interact with this here, there is a really crucial piece of information which shows up here on the left hand side of the menu. Again, we are seeing the different card colors, which is purple, blue, green, and pink. And there's also an associated percentage with these. What does this mean? Basically what they're trying to tell us here is that you have a 1% chance of pulling any purple card, but there is more than one purple character. So it's not really a 1% chance of pulling for example, Pom Pom Porin or Cinema Roll, it's, one per it's a 1% chance total of any purple card. So since I think most people watching this video are going to be most interested in pulling a particular purple card, uh, let's get deep into this specific example. To name all of the Sanrio characters that are currently purple cards, we have Hello Kitty, Pom Pom Porin, My Melody, Karopi, Pachaco, Cinemoral, Choco Cat, Gudetama, Batsmaru, and Karomi. Now, you do get Hello Kitty when you start your cafe, so initially I thought that I could count her out, but I have seen no evidence that the rate of pull decreases when you already have a character, and of course you can still pull duplicates of her. So in total, I think we should count this as a straight and constant probability, and we can say that in total in the purple category, there are 10 cards. So when there is a 1% chance of pulling any of these 10 cards, you need to divide that 1% by 10, meaning that for any particular purple card, there is actually a 0.1% chance of getting them. So 0.1% chance of if you only want Kuropi or only want Pom Pom or only want Hello Kitty. So using this method, you can calculate what the pull rate of each character is. Let's keep going with this example and keep using Cinema Roll. Next, we need to bring in two specific ideas. One is the cumulative probability distribution and the second thing is complementary probability. And we use these in order to figure out how many gotcha tickets we need. In probability, nothing is ever really guaranteed, but we can estimate a 99% chance of getting the characters that we want. Again, we're gonna keep using Cinema Roll in this example, but it will be the same for any purple card character. So we have already established that the pull rate is 0.1%, and that is the probability of getting the card on a single pull. We can use complementary probability to find the probability of not getting the card on a single pull. Basically to do that, we just kind of like flip it. So it would be one minus 0 0.001 and that equals 0 0.999. The reason why it's 0 0.001 instead of 0.1% is because of that percent, we have to move things to decimal places. So remember that 0.999, we need to hold on to that number. The second thing that we need to figure out here, if you had two pulls and you wanted to find out the probability of not getting cinema roll on either pull, you would take that 0.999 and multiply it by 0.999. And then if you actually had three pulls, you would need to multiply that by 0.999 again. So we know from doing this experiment that the formula 
of the probability of not getting the card for an x number of pulls would be 0.999 to the power of x, where x is the number of pulls. Now, here is where we add the cumulative probability distribution idea. Because we want a 99% chance of pulling the card, we need to set that entire formula to be less than 1%. And now we have this. 0.999 to the power of x is less than 0.01. Now, when we get to here, solving for x is a little bit tricky because we need to use a logarithm in order to deal with the exponent that we have. You can use a calculator, but in case you're curious, I'm gonna leave the steps up here on the screen. We take the log of 0.999 to the power of x and log on the other side as well. And we simplify that down, divide it by log 0.999, and we plug all of this into a calculator in order to solve for x, and what we get is 2302.59. Since we can't have a fraction of a pull, we have to bring that to the next whole number. So with this, we can actually say that it takes 2,303 gotcha tickets to get any card with a 0.1% pull rate. You can actually use this kind of math formula while changing the variables for your specific situation. So for example, if you don't really want a 99% chance of getting a purple card, you only care about a 90% chance, you can actually rewrite this formula and change that 0 0.01, which represents the 0.1% to 0.1. I will show the steps here again on the screen. You can definitely pause it if you are curious, but same sort of thing that you would solve for X and using a calculator, what we come up to is 690.775. And so we round that up again and we can say that for a 90% chance of getting a purple card, you need 691 gotcha tickets. So. Again, you can use this formula using any pull rate, but just to complete this video, we can review the pull rates for the other probability groups. The blue characters that we have in the game right now are Mukul Dreamy, Peckle, Tuxedo Sam, Marumo Fubiori, Caroline, Dear Daniel, Picky, and Spotty Dottie. That is eight cards in total, and we had a 4% probability for the group, meaning that the pull rate for any blue character is 0.5%. For the green category, we have Pippo, Strawberry King, Wish Me Mel, Tiny Chum, Mino Notabo, Pandapple, Hongyodon, Koro Koro Karirin, and Hello Mimi. Here we have nine cards, the group percentage is 20%, which comes out to 2.2% pull rate. For pink, honestly, I doubt anybody really cares about trying to get one of these, but just for the sake of completion, let's finish this out. We have 30 different pink characters, the probability of a pink card is 75%, and that comes out to a 2.5% chance of any pink card. I was actually pretty surprised by this because that's actually just a tiny bit more likely than pulling a green card, but just because there are so many more pink cards and the fact that we all hate them, it feels like we always get pink cards. But actually the chance of getting any particular pink card is just slightly higher than getting any particular green card. I think that's it for this video. In conclusion, to pull all of the characters that you want, honestly, you guys just have to be prepared to spend a lot of gotcha tickets. I do have a couple of videos for methods of grinding gotcha tickets. If you guys are curious, I will definitely link it at the end. Leave a like on the video, comment if you guys have more questions, do not forget to subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.